I think you all remember the video where I was like saying uh, second computer preparations or whatever, or preparing for my second computer. Basically, I'm gonna make another computer that's as simple as that. One, uh, it's obviously more powerful than the second one. Yeah, I do that because boo fan annoying, but don't worry, I didn't cover the vent holes. So we're good, bro. Um. So yeah, basically, this one is going to be way more powerful than this one. That's a big size difference, obviously. Um, because this one has dual CPUs, but this one's going to have one CPU. But the good part is it's going to be the same CPUs in this machine. But this one has two. So that's cool. Um, this one's going to have more RAM. This one will have less. Basically, what I'm trying to say is this one's relying on spare parts. Like this case, that's a spare part. Power supply in the case, that's a spare part. That's obviously a spare part. This is also a spare part. This is also obviously a spare part. Like the, the RAM, this RAM, I got that from my previous laptop. Don't need that laptop anymore because I sold it. So I have this RAM now. SSD came from the MacBook if you saw in the video because I don't need that anymore. And I barely used it. And this hard drive came from an old HP laptop that was dead anyway so might as well yoink it as a backup drive uh, just in case if the main SSD somehow breaks or uh, overheats somehow who knows and we're gonna use all these USBs as extra storage as well because why not look at this get 128 256 combined 384 all these is 384 gigs still less than this bad boy but hey, what can you do? It's, they were free. Because my, my government paid for it. Well. Uh, another idea I also has for this computer. Is that, um. I could have like a projector somewhere here. Like I'd mount a tiny shelf here. Put a projector on it. And it would just shine onto the wall. You know. So I could just lean back. Take this cube. Put it there. Lean back like this. And just watch my, you know, movie or whatever. Um, it could work. Generally could. <laughs> I'm thinking it could be a great idea. Who knows? But, um... Oh, yeah, let me tell you the specs of that computer. Um, okay. Let me get up. It's going to have 32 gigabytes of sodium RAM. And we're going to use a sodium to dim adapter that I got from AliExpress. Hasn't arrived yet, but who cares? It's gonna be obviously DDR4 16 times 2 gigabyte, 16 gigabytes times 2, uh, running at 2400 megahertz, which is the fastest the CPU we're using is gonna support. What CPU are we using? Well, the same one as in my main machine, but one instead of two. I have an Intel Xeon E5 2680v4 uh, with a base clock speed of 1.4 gigahertz, or uh, sorry, 2.4 gigahertz. 14 cores, 28 threads, and it's based on the LGA 2011-3 uh, sockets. It's a pretty good CPU. Using it in my main machine hasn't let me down, but that's two CPUs. Who knows, maybe one is worse, but 14 cores for 2016 CPU, it's pretty, it pulls, it still pulls. Now, this ain't a fast M.2 SSD, it's SATA 3, however... It's more compatible compared to other M.2 SSDs that are faster than this. And this, like I mentioned, is a laptop hard drive. It's a Hitachi uh, hard drive. Obviously, 2.5 inch form factor because, you know, laptop hard drive. It has a SATA 2 interface, which means 3 gigabits per second. And it runs at 5400 RPM, 750 gigabytes. Not that bad. Tiny drive, and it's... Made in August 11th of what? What year? What year? No, it's, it's definitely made before 2015 because the laptop itself was like 2013. So it could be. It's definitely newer. It, it, I don't know, man. It could have been changed. Who knows? Um. Oh yeah. It also has a be quiet 500 watt, uh, 80 plus bronze power supply, which I hope is gonna be enough. <laughs> Um, and then what I also plan on ordering, if it's in stock uh, by the time I do order it, 
It's going to be an NVIDIA Quadro M6000, 12 gigabyte variant. But uh, if that's not available, then I'm just going to get the NVIDIA Quadro K6000 and then just do a slight core overclock on it, see how far I can push it. Um, the reason why I'm making this computer is because mine is for gaming, even though it's perfect for workstation loads, especially CPU loads. However, the GPU, because it's AMD, that means it's not going to be compatible with most software. Well, some software, not most. I wanted to do some AI generation. AMD CPU wasn't, or AMD GPU isn't support, supported for that because Nvidia costs more because of its compatibility. That's what one of my friends told me, which that's true. Uh, and the graphics card I'm buying is like barely better than this one, and not meant for gaming. Which is like, you know what? Let's just make another computer. <laughs> Let's just make another computer. You know, instead of just swapping out the GPUs every now and then. Uh, let's just make another computer. Um, so yeah. Also, the case is NATX uh, by Tasens. T A C E N S. Um, it, I think it's a pretty good case. It's definitely on the cheaper end. You know, more budget focus. It's forty-five bucks. However, it has good airflow. You know, the entire like look at this. All of these are real holes, except for this on the side. The, the, this is not real holes, see? This is all real though, see? Clearly. Um, this is also real. Yep. <laughs> That's actually really cool how they made, like, it looks nice, but it's also really good for breathability. Um, here's, you can have a side vent, you know, side fan. So definitely very <laughs> modern. I actually kind of prefer metal sides compared to glass because I mean if you have a nice computer you know well organized unlike mine uh, because too short <laughs> cables womp womp but um kind of prefer this look honestly uh, power supply thought I switched it off okay then uh, another place for a smaller fan this one and space for GPU and the motherboard, of course. As you can see, I already have some cables in here, but that's you know, this is a semi modular power supply, so you already have your CPU and your ATX power, just part of the part of it at all times, and also cables for uh, the front IO. So, yeah. I, I thought this was damaged, but it's just such a weird design. It's like, what? It's like a donut, man. Yeah, it is like a donut. Made in China, by the way. I mean, it's It definitely isn't the strongest case, but I think it'll do the job pretty well. It, it I was focused on breathability, size, and sleekness, and I just so happened to have this case lying around. Too small for my motherboard. I accidentally bought the wrong case. <laughs> so yeah, I bought this one and it it will work. USB 3.0, classic USB 2.0, uh, headphones and microphone, reset switch and power button. Oh, and some LEDs on what's happening. That's actually useful. Mine doesn't have that. What the fuck? But, uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, good computer. I like, um... I actually like the case. Very cheap, but very effective at its job. So CPUs are gonna they're gonna pull. If I think thirty five, yeah, thirty five megabytes of L3 cache. I can actually check on my computer. What we're gonna have to do though is you know cut it in half because this counts for both CPUs. So yeah, fourteen threads or fourteen cores, twenty eight threads, zero point nine megabytes of L1 cache. 3.5 megabytes of L2 cache and 35 megabytes of L3 cache. 2.4 gigahertz. Um, you can see it's running a little higher, but it's probably because of the background. Um, blah blah blah, da da da, blah blah. RAM. <laughs> yeah, this RAM is overclocked. That one doesn't need to be overclocked. Can automatically overclock. Uh, at least that's what it said on the packaging. Who knows? But uh, yeah, that's my plan for my second machine. What am I gonna use it for? Right, before I end this video, what what are, what is the point of this computer? AI workloads, 
and Minecraft uh, server hosting. That's why I got 14 cores, 32 gigs. Probably gonna replace these in the future though, but I'm on a tight budget right now. Because I spent money on all, the, all of this. All, all of this. On that. So, yeah. The GPU alone for this machine is going to be more than double than mine and barely faster. However, for workstation loads, it's going to be way better. But yeah, um, computer, computer, subscribe for computer.